Active Inspire is an online digital whiteboard from Promethean, which is one of the renowned companies for making educational products. Online digital whiteboards are an important tool for online teachers. In this video, you will learn some of the cool features of Active Inspire online whiteboard. I will be using its free version. It also has a paid version with some extra features. And this is my second video on Active Inspire. The first video got thousands of views and likes from you guys in which I showed you how to install Active Inspire and then I demonstrated a complete tour of the Active Inspire user interface. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create student activities for your online classes to engage your students and to achieve your learning objectives. And then I will also show you a comparison of a free Active Inspire account and the professional Active Inspire account because in the comments of my first video, I got many questions and some of you are not realizing that it also has a paid version and some features are available only in the paid version. There are many types of activities you can create in Active Inspire, but I will be showing you two examples and you will get the idea. Then I will also show you if you have a PowerPoint presentation, how you can use that presentation straight away in Active Inspire whiteboard because it will be a fantastic combination. Most of you guys already have some presentations made in PowerPoint and now you can use those presentations in Active Inspire, which is fantastic. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to students and teachers. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally on Friday and sometimes on Tuesday. When you start Active Inspire, you will see this screen and this is called dashboard and there are four main icons. Whiteboards are called flip charts in Active Inspire. This is the term they use. So if I click on this, I will get a white paper on which I can draw or I can write. Then there is activity icon. If I click on that, I can create various kinds of activities, which we are going to see in this video. Then there is desktop annotation. And this is very useful. However, this feature does not work properly in the free version of Active Inspire. And what you can do with desktop annotation is that you can open any application on your screen and you can annotate. You can circle, you can highlight, you can write something, you can put arrows, these kind of annotations you can do on your screen. For example, you can open a web page. You can also open any application, for example, GeoGebra, Desmos, where you are creating some graphs and you want to highlight something or you want to point out some important things on the graphs. So very useful for online teaching, but I will show you what is the problem with this feature in a minute. Then there is a timer. You can put timer on your activities. So let us start from this activities and I click on this activities. Then there are 10 types of activities you can create in Active Inspire. And I will show you two examples. One is a matching activity and another is word search activity. Matching activity will be useful for math teachers and word search activity is useful for, for example, English teachers or maybe teachers from some other subjects. There could be many applications. And now let us create a word search activity first. So I click on that and this window will open. So first let me show you what I want to do. This is one of the puzzle books which I recently created for Amazon KDP and these are word puzzles but these are little different. So what is happening here is that there is one theme for example this is birds theme and then there are few names of birds but the letters are not in order they are scrambled. So what I want to do is I want to go to the solution of this puzzle book. I select this theme which is a teaching theme and there are few words related to education i want to use these words in my word search activity which i want to create in active inspire so what i'm going to do is i am going to type some of these words in this area so the first word is pupil 
then we have notebook then we have blackboard then we have teaching computer okay these are enough so i typed few words on a specific topic of education and then i can select any background if i want otherwise this default is fine and now i click on this save and now i am going to give this a name because i can open this activity later on and the file name is education.activity and now i click save and once it is saved now i can click on play and then let's play and now this is a word puzzle type of thing where i have to search these words in these letters so let's do it for example this is computer so i click and drag across this word and then i release my mouse and as you can see that this word has been grayed out now i got this blackboard so i do this again and make sure you don't miss anything so move slow and now another word is grayed out then we have this pupil then we have this notebook and then we have this teaching and then i will see this message awesome job well done and i can play again so this is how you can create a word search activity in active inspire so you can edit it and let us close this and now we are going to create a matching activity so i click on that and in this activity i am going to use two math expressions so there are few math expressions i am going to put in column 1 and few math expressions in column 2 and students will be asked to match the equivalent math expressions let me show you how so in column 1 i click on add image because i feel it easy to create math expressions by using images and i will show you how i created these images but first let's do the activity so i click on this insert image and i have selected these six images and these are named as column 1 a column 1 b column 1 c for first column and similarly for second column so i click on this first image open that image is added here no i click in front and no i click column 2 a which is the correct answer for this one so this is a correct match this term c1 a and c2 a are equivalent so when you are creating an activity you put the correct answer in front of each other but the software will change it and students have to match the correct answers so i select this i click open similarly for the second one i select this and i select this one similarly for the third one this one and the last one so these are correct answers in front of each other and now i want to save it i give it a name let's say math activity and save and now i want to play this so i click on play and now i click on let's play and this is how it looks these images as you can see these are not very sharp and no students will match these two by dragging and dropping so this five should be here and this should be here and this should be here and now i will see this message so this is how you can create a matching activity and i create these math expression images in codecogs.com there is an equation editor available which uses latex language and i have made a separate video on this as well and i have been mentioning this because this is the easy method so let us say i type square root and then a square bracket to make it a cube root and then the curly brackets to put the number and this is an extra bracket and i get this image now i can download this in various formats and the most important is this svg which is a vector image which is a very sharp image but active inspired does not allow us to use vector images in activities and this will be my request to the company that the company should allow us to use svg images in the activities section because vector images are very sharp they have infinite resolution and because i cannot use svg i am using png which is the normal image and the resolution is not good and this is the easiest way to write math expressions and use it in your presentations so i am sure that promethean will do something about this because it's a big company so let us close this and now you have some other activities which you can practice 
pre-Promethean whiteboard does not allow you to use shapes. So you have to create your presentations in, for example, PowerPoint using GeoGebra or some other application, create shapes and make a PowerPoint presentation. Now at the end, I will show you how you can use your PowerPoint presentation inside your whiteboard. To do that, I click on this icon. It will show me this dashboard icon once again. And now I click on flip chart. And in this section, I have this import PowerPoint. So I click on that. And in this folder, I have one PowerPoint presentation with two slides. I click on that, I click. And now my PowerPoint presentation is inside Active Inspire whiteboard. This is slide number one. And as you can see here that this is page one of two because I have two slides. I have drawn these shapes in GeoGebra. Then I put these shapes in a PowerPoint presentation and now I am importing my PowerPoint. Now to go to second page, I have to click on this arrow. I click on that and this is my page two. My presentation has only two slides. So if you have any PowerPoint presentation in this way, you can directly import inside Active Inspire. Then you can use this pen and you can explain to your students whatever you want to explain. Or you can also use these arrows and other shapes to explain anything. So this was the last thing for this video. And now at the end, let me show you a document which highlights the difference between the free Active Inspire account and the professional Active Inspire account. Now, this is a PDF which is available on their website. You just type uh, whatever is written at the corner and you will get this PDF. On this PDF, you can see that what features are available in free personal account and what are the extra features available in professional account. And I think that there are few things which should be available in the personal account. For example, ability to insert shapes and ability to annotate. Although you can annotate, but going back to the flip chart is not easy. So I wanted to show the problem with desktop annotations in this video, but now it has become very long. So I will discuss that in the next video. Another important thing is design mode, which is also not available in the personal Active Inspire whiteboard. And compass tool and some other math tools are also not available. I have got so many comments and questions about the compass tool. In this tools area, we have this math tools and there are only these three tools available in the free Active Inspire account. And compass tool is not here. And I would like to request Promethean that they should add compass tool in this free version of Active Inspire. So the first request was to include SVG images in activities. And this is my second request. I hope they will consider this. So that is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.